All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. It is Thursday, March 28th. We have a two-game NBA slate to dive into in today's video, like we always do when we go through each and every game. So all two of these, I'm going to give you my lean on the spread. I'll give you my lean on the total. We'll talk about any player props that we like within the games as well. But as always, keep an eye on the pinned comment. That's where all of my final plays will live. If you do want to go ahead and do the opposite and fade me, and last night, boy, oh boy, we don't even have a recap broken out for you right we just have an image reverse sweep we got absolutely dust panned last night headphone warning here we're dropping a big womp womp a loud womp womp <laughs> on ourselves so everything we touched turned to absolute crap last night um and it stinks because it's like i would play those again and i guess lose again because the only one that the minute we placed it i was like i don't know about that not the minute we placed it but shea gilgis alexander gets ruled out right and i was like i wish we didn't bet the thunder but still felt good about all the other plays only to get all that dust into my face i was the dust ban last night but hopefully we have a better night tonight um we're gonna have these days i've been talking about how you know we're cruising right now. We're having winning night, winning night, winning night. Eventually, you hit sort of a roadblock, and uh, this was that. But hopefully, it's just kind of like a detour versus a roadblock, I guess, if that makes sense. But nonetheless, I uh, want to own it. Terrible night last night. Like, everything we touched turned to crap, just like the ride of the day. Uh, we jumped on board with Mark here. Uh, had Grady Dix under 18 and a half uh, PRA, right? He had, you know, zero assists, one rebound. We're probably like, all right, we're cooking, right? 23 points. So I was the kiss of death yesterday. This probably cashes if I don't ride with it, right? So the ride of the day, I'm not womp womping Mark, but um, because we just womped off ourselves. So we're going to own that together, Mark. Both you and I just got womped womped because the ride of the day did not hit. If you guys don't know what the ride of the day is, all you got to use is hashtag ride of the day in the comments. I'm jumping on board with one person's pick, giving you a shout out in the next video, just like Mark gets today. A shout out in the next video, win or loss. Also, shouting you out over on my socials. Make sure to follow me. They're bop up right here the main one being twitter and then instagram as well and if you want to follow me on tiktok i know it's not everyone's cup of tea go check it out but they're all going to rotate right there make sure to follow me on twitter for the ride of the day but drop those in the comments guys before we do get to the picks today for the nba we just published our mlb video so at the time you guys watching this it should be out right now go ahead and check that out but uh yeah without further ado let's jump into this two game slate starting it off with the hawks hosting the Celtics. We just saw this game recently, right? Uh, the Celtics were up big. They were up big in that game. And I'm a Celtics fan, so it pains me to talk about it. They take their foot off the gas, and Atlanta comes back and wins 120 to 118. It was a tough one to see. And to be completely honest, I do think the Celtics win this game today. But look at that spread. Like, yeah, they probably do come with a little fire under their ass, and they're pissed in a revenge spot. But I'm not laying 17 and a half points. So if anything... I would take a peek here at Atlanta plus a 17 and a half. I don't think I can get the get myself to pull the trigger against the Celtics here. Um, because again, like they've been playing such good basketball. That's one bad game. I get it. But they've been playing such good basketball. Like it wouldn't surprise me if they do win by 20 points, especially given the circumstances. But I just can't lay 17 and, 17 and a half points. In terms of injuries here, same major injuries for Atlanta. Uh, but Drew Holiday could be coming back for the Celtics. So they could have a healthy starting five. No Derek White last game, obviously a huge factor. I don't think that that's like a win or loss factor because that was just a Celtic sort of mindset and vibe overall. Like they... Took their foot off the gas, got complacent, and got beat. Um, but in terms of a total in this spot, I'm going to lean towards the over. We saw a 120-118 game last time, and it kind of shows that even though the Hawks aren't um, always going to play the most efficient basketball, like they'll never take their foot off the gas. The motor will keep going, and I think the Celtics give you 120 today um, or something like that. So I'm going to lean towards the over 226 in this spot. Uh, again, I think the Celtics win this game. You should too. Like They're in a revenge spot. The best team in the league, but 17 and a half points seems like it's a little little bit too much to lay so give me the self uh, give me atlanta i guess if i had a gun to my head i don't think it becomes a final play as well as the over um total now let's jump into outlier for 
uh, my player props here. If you guys want to check out Outlier, I'll have a link in the pinned comment and in the description. But pinned comment's the easiest. You get seven days free of this tool. Kristaps Sporzingas, I like two plays from him. First off, his over three-pointers made. He's hit this in seven of his last ten. And what I like is the attempts that he's been throwing down here. Uh, shooting on the season here, shooting 38%. So call it 40, right? In his last uh, ten games here, shooting over six threes per game. He shot four last game, which is actually his lowest, um, the second lowest in his last ten. I do think that he throws up a few more tonight. So I like his over three, uh, one and a half threes made. And then I also like his points plus assists. Look at this. Yes, he's been hovering right around that line, but nine straight games of this, averaging three potential assists per game. But over the last few games here, six, three, and four, if he can give you a couple assists, that's going to do wonders because then all of a sudden, say he gets, you know, three assists or something. Then you're looking at like his points line, which is 17 and a half. It's kind of actually like a 14 and a half because he's locked down a couple assists, right? So I don't mind this spot for him whatsoever. A couple Kristaps Porzingis lines. Um, looking at Vit Krejcic here, he had a good game against the Celtics last game. 24 PRA. He had 16 points, which literally doubles up his points line. I expect him to come back down to earth. He had two games here. Uh, he's only had two games where he's gone over this season. He's going to get the minutes, which is kind of worrisome, right? But I don't expect him to have a great game again, and I don't think the Celtics are going to want him to have a great game again. Like, he was one of the momentum-driving guys there, which is absolutely crazy. Vit Krejci was one of the reasons he lost the game the other night, so I like his under as well. Um, seems pretty Celtics biased, but I do think that he's kind of less of a factor in this game than he was in that game a couple nights back. All right, before we jump into game number two, and I know we're talking basketball here, but I got to tell you about the deals going on over on Sleeper right now for MLB opening day. They have two squares. One's discounted. One is free. Tyler Glass now here over 0.5 strikeouts, and then Zach Gallon, his strikeout line down to three and a half. And if you use the link in the pinned comment and sign up, you'll get your first deposit matched 100%. Absolute no-brainer. Go check out Sleeper, guys. My favorite player prop DFS app out right now. I love Sleeper. I'm posting it on all over my TikTok, Instagram, and the YouTube channel short so you know that I'm not BSing you, right? I'd never blow smoke up your ass. So go check it out, guys. Use that link in the pinned comment. Get these squares as well as 100% first deposit matched. Now, let's get into game number two here. This should be a better game than the first. Next up, we have the Pelicans taking on the Bucks here. Pelicans getting two points at home. Total sitting at 225. Though the Pelicans are playing really good basketball, I'm going to lean towards Milwaukee in this spot. Now, that may be crazy, and we are going to want to keep an eye on the injury report. Middleton and Giannis listed as game-time decisions, but listed as probable. Um, but I just think that this Bucks team bounce back, bounces back after that loss against the Lakers. They kind of blew that game. The Pelicans blew... I mean, not necessarily blew it. They were losing by a lot, came back against OKC. But I see a similar trend here. I think the Bucs are going to be able to run on this Pelicans team and make it difficult for them to kind of settle in here. So give me the Bucs minus the two points. Um, you do have a, a Bucks team that's going to win probably the, uh, the, the three-point battle. The Pelicans will win the in-the-paint battle. Uh, and then it's like, do you think it's going to be an offensive or defensive game? If you think defensive pelicans is your bet i think that this is going to be sort of a game that gets a little bit more up tempo than we're expecting or than most are expecting and it becomes more offensive so uh, that's why i'm leaning towards the bucks in this spot um and also kind of with that being said it coincides with the over over 225 in this spot people called me crazy when i took okc's um the over and okc as well as uh, okc against the pelicans right um i just th see some similarities in how i expect this game to go so uh if that's not the case then yeah this probably falls flatter in the face and i'm probably not the best guy to tell you what to do in the last 24 hours here right so uh, i can own that but in terms of a player prop here let's jump into outlier out of all the stars in this game, it's kind of weird because this is what I've landed on. I like Malik Beasley two ways here. Over two and a half rebounds and also over four and a half rebounds plus assists for plus 115 odds. He's averaging 7.2 rebound chances. So that's why I like the over two and a half rebounds. But even if he goes out there and gets you a two or three assist game, I like the spot here because you're getting plus money. Head to head, last time they played back in January, he had two assists, four rebounds, cashing this. And again, it's a plus 115 play. So I think he's going to get the rebound chances like I mentioned, right? 7.2 rebound chances over his last 10. Yes, New Orleans is a decent rebounding team, so there's red there, but he's getting the rebound chances. What I like is that the assists, his lack thereof of a stat that he hasn't been getting a lot of, they're actually allowing the fifth most to the shooting guard position, so could be a good spot for him. He's missed in two straight games, um, but he's hit the over in 65% of games this year. He hit it against them last time. He's hit the over in 60 of his last 20 and in seven of his last 10. I think it's a good spot for Malik Beasley. Again, 
It's not the sexy stat, but we don't have a plethora to choose from in today's video, right? I like his over two and a half rebounds and his over four and a half rebounds plus assists. I just hope the volume is there. But guys, that is going to do it for today's show. Hope you guys do enjoy. Um, it is a shorter video. Go check out that MLB video as well. Comment 10 if you made it to the end of the video here. Appreciate you guys tuning in even after a womp womp worthy of a night. But I know we've talked about it before, but it's like I could go O oh, in a million in my next 1 million bets. I'm still going to show up here and do the video because um, I think, I guess, one thing that makes me a little different is like uh, I'm not just going to brag about a win record. Yes, we've made money three consecutive seasons. Fine. I'm not going to brag about a win record. I'm going to make good videos, make entertaining content, and talk basketball. You know what I mean? If we win, we win. We do more than we lose. That's great. But you know what? I'm not going to sit here and cower after a really, really bad night. Everyone has them. Are we going to act like you in the comments, you guppies about to, to rag on me? Are you going to act like you've never had a night where you didn't hit a bet? Of course not. So, uh, yeah, there's my little rant. Comment 10 if you made it this far. We'll catch you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out.